हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस एज वेल्ड सिमुलेशंस विद सॉल्ट ब्लॉक्स इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द ट्यूटोरियल्स यू विल अप्लाई बाउंड्री कंडीशंस एंड विल इवैल्यूएट रिजल्ट्स ऑफ वेल्डिंग एज वेल एज बोर्ड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो टू फिक्सचर्स एंड सेलेक्ट फिक्स्ड ज्योमेट्री our hanger assembly is fixed at this face for all degree of freedom now again go to fixtures so sorry again go to external loads and select the force from type select the force select the face this is the face and select the direction this force is normal to the top plane select units that are english and force is applied in this directions reverse the directions force is sorry units are as a units and force is 600 newton from symbol settings you can increase increase the size of the this load symbol okay now our last step is to create the curvature base mesh right click on mesh and create mesh select the mesh parameters and then select curvature based mesh leave all values for example element size minimum maximum and by default okay wait until mesh generated please subscribe and share our channel and if you have any queries you can ask in our comment sections so you can see mixed meshing has been created mixed mean that these blue parts are solid meshing and these yellow parts are the shell type meshing now it's time to run our simulation here is the morning time and birds are chirping outside of the windows so enjoy keep enjoying the, the this beautiful sounds of birds as well as this important simulation studies of solid works so our simulation has been completed now it's time to check stress values displacements as well as weldment size weld throat and the loads on nut and bolts so if we click on the stress you can see the maximum stress is 182 megapascal that is less than the yield strength of the material that is 282 megapascal that's mean our this hanger assembly is safe because if we check its factor of safety its factor of safety will be more than 1 that is 1.5 and other parameter you want to evaluate that is the displacement you can see the maximum displacement occur at this tip is 0.083 mm if we go edit definitions and just uh, make a user defined scale in order to animate it so right click on displacement and animate you can see its deformation behavior from this displacement animation 
now our next step is to check the weld size as well as weld throat size so on the result tab right click and click on list weld results so here is the weld parameters uh, for this weld connector number 1 this is the weld size that is its mean value is 1.57 and its maximum value is 1.87 you can you should remember that our predefined weld size was 2 mm so actual weld size is 1.87 mm that is less than less than 2 mm that's mean our weld defined weld is also safe here is the weld throat size that is 1.3 mm and here are the stresses normal force and the shear as well as the bending moment occurs on this weld joint so this these are the results of the edge connector weld edge weld connector one you can plot the weld size as well as weld throat size along the its peripheral length so click on the plot you can see this red size is the weld size and this is the weld throat size always remember that weld size is always greater than the weld throat so this is the peripheral distance that means the this distance are run out of the that is equal to diameter or circumference of this rod and its information tells that how this size varies as we move along this circle so in this way you can evaluate all four edge weld connectors so this is the a weld size for this connector is 0.84 mm maximum that is the less than that of the edge connector one similarly if you come here here is the 0.51 mm maximum size and this is the last one you can plot all edge welds So that this arrow shows the starting directions of the welding. This yellow one. So overall, weld element size, weld size is 1.87 millimeter, and bending moment is 2.4 newton meter per millimeter per meter. Again. You cannot plot because of this is the average results of our four welds. So we have evaluated the. You can see the these this show the directions, starting points. This coordinate system show the starting points of the welding. Again, go to the results, and from here. Select the list connector force. Here is the all connectors. You can see the counter sunk with one. So its shear force for first bolt is. 80 newton and axial force is 480 newton and bending moment is this similarly you can evaluate all eight number of screws are nut and bolts and check their shear force as well as axial forces and bending moments in each nut and bolt 
so i think you have learned a lot from these tutorials if you have any query please subscribe please give your comments and ask your any queries in comment sections and subscribe and share uh, this solidworks simulation tutorials thank you for your time take care bye bye